Rev up your engines! Welcome to my Thursday video where I answer a viewer's question with an entire video. And today's question comes from John9180. I got a Nissan Altima with a CVT transmission. The stupid thing went out when it only had 80,000 miles on it. Is this something with Nissans or is it a problem that a lot of CVTs have? Well, it's definitely a problem with the Nissan CVTs. And to understand how that affects a lot of other cars, there's a little history lesson. Now, Nissan, which also makes Infinities, like this 2000 for infinity used to make pretty good automatic transmissions this one is a five-speed automatic that's pretty bulletproof but then like everybody else they started to get worries about gas mileage and they went to fancier transmissions like seven speed nine speed and the more speeds they put in them the more problems that they have as they wore out. Sometimes reprogramming the computer software for these fancier transmissions helped the problems to some extent. Sometimes it didn't do that much, but they're getting so complicated to get better gas mileage that they've gone to CVT transmissions. And as with most new innovations, there's teething problems. CVT transmissions were around even on my grandfather's day. But the metallurgy was so bad then, they'd slip like mad, they couldn't make it up a big hill. They're a lot better than they used to be, but they're still not really perfected from a lot of manufacturers. From my own experience in a poll that I did with all the transmission experts that I've known over the years, pretty much it was 100% agreement that Nissan makes the worst CVT transmissions out there. They have the most problems. They last the shortest amount of time, and they cost an awful lot of money to rebuild correctly. Now, Nissan transmissions are made by a company called JATCO. That's a subsidiary of Nissan, and that stands for Japanese Automatic Transmission Company. So don't automatically think that just because it's a Japanese company, they're going to make a great product. JATCO's had a lot of problems with the CV transmissions they put in Nissan's, but you may not know it. JATCO supplies automatic transmissions to lots of companies. They use them in. Nissans, Mazda, Subaru, Isuzu, Suzuki, BMW, VW, MG, Land Rover, Hyundai, Jaguar, Renault, and Chrysler. Now Toyota, they make their own CVT transmissions. They use the company Azen, which they own a percentage of. And they have probably the least amount of problems with any of the CVTs out there. And that's probably because they've been mass producing the CVT transmissions longer than anyone and perfected them. The Toyota Priuses have CVT transmissions because because they're using both a gasoline engine and an electric motor. Because in a hybrid car, you gotta have input from the electric motor, and the gasoline motor, and the CVT transmissions are easier to make so that you can have different inputs. A regular transmission is really made for only one input coming from a gasoline motor. Since the Prius has been out for 20 years now, they just had their 20th anniversary, Toyota's been whipping out those CVT transmissions for two decades, so they got a leg up on everybody else. And the other car manufacturer that makes CVTs for themselves is Honda. Now Honda has had problems with their automatic transmissions over the course of time in a lot of their models. I haven't seen the same problem yet in their CVTs. So I'm assuming Honda is doing a better job making the CVTs than Nissan is using Japco. So if you're thinking about getting a car with a CVT transmission, you might learn something from John's question. He had a Nissan Altima. His Jatco CVT transmission went out at an early age and cost a fortune to fix. So if you're planning on buying a car that has a CVT transmission, my advice is this. Do a little research on who actually made the transmission. And if you find that it's made by Jatco, that Nissan on affiliate personally I wouldn't buy the car because who wants a vehicle with a bad automatic transmission and you might ask hey why are they even putting these CVT transmissions in a lot of the cars well it's for one main reason gas mileage the CVT transmissions don't have gears that shift up and down they're always going in what's called the optimum RPMs power speed and gas mileage. It's all computer controlled. You can't even shift the car to get the good gas mileage that those get. <laughs> it's gonna do it better than any human being. And with the pressure on manufacturers to get better and better gas mileage, they're gonna be going to all these types of technologies. And CVT is one that is pretty much gonna be a universal, if you ask me, in the future for gasoline and diesel cars. And who knows, maybe in the future, Jetco will get their act together and make really good CVTs. Because you have to realize that the use of the Jetco transmissions, hey, like in the case of Chrysler, they had a six-speed dual-clutch transmission they were working 
working on that was way behind schedule. So as a last minute thing, oh, they decided we're going to buy CVTs from JADCO. So they didn't have to do the research development. So who's to say that it's correct mix? They just kind of, oh, well, ours didn't work, so let's try something else and stick it in on our cars. Me, I'll take decades of engineering like ASIN does with theirs that have been in Priuses for 20 years. They start perfecting them and get them better and better and better rather than a company just saying, oh, I guess we can't make CVTs ourselves, so let's buy them from somebody else and throw them in our cars and see what happens. <laughs> because slowly perfecting things, hey, it might be boring, but everybody really wants a boring transmission in their car that just keeps working and never breaks down and you don't have to think about it. And since this is the Thursday segment where I answer a viewer's question, place your own question on the YouTube comments below and I'll pick the best ones to make a single video to answer your questions. And where else can you find a guy with 50 years experience of fixing cars to answer your own question with a video? So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.